aka Science Sam, is here with some mesmerizing science experiments for you to try. I am so excited. Same. We are getting like legit science lessons from physicist Barbie, no big deal. Right, Taylor and Barbie, a perfect combo. Together at last. <laughs> I agree. Amazing, so this first one, you're doing kind of like a creepy column? Yes, it's a Halloween twist on a classic density column experiment. Mm -hmm. These are just a bunch of liquids you can find around the house and you could play around, experiment with different things. Mm -hmm. But you can see, depending on how heavy, how densely packed that liquid is, mm -hmm. like honey, it's gonna sink to the bottom mm -hmm. or float to the top. And now we're just gonna plop in some stuff and see where they land. And this Ooh. is a good way to visualize chemistry. Just plop it in. Whoa! It's, yeah, and you, just from looking, that solid plastic pumpkin, it tells us something about the chemical structure we can't see. Yeah. It's lining up with the dish soap, so it's as densely packed as the molecules in dish soap. Cool, Which what about cool. this eyeball? Yeah. And I'm gonna oh, she oh, right to the top. Yeah. And I'm gonna sprinkle in some flies and they're just down there. Oh. So you could throw anything in there and it just lets you learn about the chemical structure that you can't see with your eye, but you can experiment with. That is so cool. That right? really is such a great like example yeah. of density. Yeah, and to even just the food coloring is a fun experiment. Yeah. What mixes, what doesn't. Yeah. Um, so now we're gonna take that same concept mm -hmm. of oil and water mm -hmm. not mixing. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna bring it over to our next experiment. Okay. This is gonna be a very cool witch's brew, but this one you can't drink. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with water. Mary, you're gonna do the big one. Give me a thin layer of water, not too much. Okay. Okay, and again, this is all stuff you probably have around the house. Oh, you can do a little, a little bit more. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, sorry, I misled you. No, I listen, um, <laughs> I listen to rules, especially when it comes to science. Oh, that's so, yeah. perfect. Okay, so now you can pick your color. Ooh, um, I got like witchy colors, yeah, black, green, red. I'm gonna do the red, actually. Spooky. Okay, and next, we are gonna make a bit of a mess. Okay. So we're gonna glove up. Okay. <laughs> and so you could, this is to give our witch's brew a nice glow. Okay. Um, you could buy something, but I was like, I have highlighters at home. Mm -hmm. Let's just use that, right? I feel like I still have highlighters oh. from high school. Okay, well. I don't know if they're still good, but I have them. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, getting crushed by my box. It's the Barbie hands. Oh no, there we yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you just play, use a pair of pliers, you plop off the back of a, of a highlighter. Okay. I already got it started for us. Um, you're gonna take out the ink, and Ooh. you're gonna squeeze it, squeeze it into Whoa. this. Oh, you haven't even seen what's gonna happen here. There's fluorescent pigments in the highlighter. That's why it's so bright. Yeah. Also why we use these colors on construction vests so they really stand out. Cool. I um, mean, those pigments, you'll see what happens when we get the UV light going. Okay. You can take the gloves off now. Blah. I know. I did not know you could do that on a highlighter. If that was the experiment, I would be like, I know. done. I know, yeah. so that alone is really fun. Okay, yeah. now we're gonna carefully pour in that's okay. Yeah. Pour in the oil. Okay. We don't want it to be too bubbly just yet, so we're gonna go slow. And again, we're seeing that oil and water don't like to mix. Oil, uh, water has like lots of positive and negative charges to it. Yeah. And oil doesn't. And you know, opposites attract. Water wants to buy, you can do more. Oh, more, okay. Perfect. Oh yeah, all of it. Um, water likes to attract uh, the opposites and positives. They wanna, the negatives and positives, mm -hmm. they wanna be bonding to other negatives and positives. Water likes binding to itself. Oil is boring, basic balance, doesn't have that. Boring. They don't mix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so last, Elka Seltzer tablets. Okay. This has, we're gonna break them up into little pieces, just a few pieces. Okay. This has um, citric acid and sodium bicarbonate, like baking soda. Totally. So when we put it in, we're gonna see, we'll put in a few at a time. Okay. We're gonna see that as those, um, the sodium bicarbonate and the citric acid starts to break down in the water. Oh, the bubbles it's gonna are starting. It's going to start to fizz, exactly, because it's releasing uh, carbon dioxide, same stuff we breathe out. And you get this really cool lava lamp effect because the water... That is so cool. ...is bubbling up with the carbon dioxide. It doesn't want to mix with the oil. Um, so that's going to give us this lava lamp effect. Now we're going to make it glow. Okay, can we lower the lights a little bit? Yeah. Right. Pop it in. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Look at those! Thank you. you see that? That is so cool. Yeah. Who made lava lamp and it doesn't even get hot? Yeah, yeah. Now, speaking of getting hot, we have one more experiment. We're gonna we do, do it real quick over here. Yes, we are. Okay. I wouldn't be physicist Barbie if I didn't make something go in the air. No. So, <laughs> it is Hello, time. Everybody. Yeah. All right, so here, you can get safety up. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
And what we're gonna do here starts with hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Now, you can find this at the beauty supply store, you can find this at the drugstore used as an antiseptic. Mm -hmm. I have a chemist grade one. Oh, okay. So this is not one you can do at home, but you can do a smaller version at home. Um, hydrogen peroxide's basically water. Okay. With an extra oxygen. And it likes to degrade. That's why you usually find it in a brown, dark bottle. Yeah. We, you don't want that if you're trying to use it as an antiseptic. Mm -hmm. However, today, we want that process to happen, and we want it to happen fast. Okay. <laughs> so that is what we're doing here with the help of a catalyst. Okay. Sorry, I just gotta measure mine out. There we go. Um, we're gonna do five squirts of this. Five you squirts of first. dish soap, love it. <laughs> this, is a, this is the type of, how scientific? One, yes. two, oh, yeah. three, four. <laughs> Five. Perfect. There you go. And now you can do yours too. Okay. Sorry, I didn't do that for you. No, that's okay. And put you One, to work, Taylor. Two, three, <laughs> four, five. Very Countess. nice. Now, with the help of our catalyst, that reaction is going to go quick. Okay. The dish soap is going to capture all that oxygen, and we're going to have an explosive effect. Okay. What is this? I'm gonna, uh, this is potassium iodide. Okay. It's a catalyst. It's going to speed up the reaction. At home, you can do it with yeast. Okay. Yeast and warm water. Amazing. All right. Are you ready? You count us, and Everybody we're going to Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And there she goes. Oh my gosh! Science Sarah that was awesome. Look at the heat coming off of that. Lots of heat from that reaction. Wow, wow. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.